which SARMs do you think are most comparable? Like, like if you could compare a SARM with a steroid, a SARM with a steroid, in your opinion, what would like Primo, Anavar, because we're talking Winstrol, we're talking the anabolic ones, which one would compare so the audience knows that they're going to go invest their money into something that's, that, that is safer than steroids if they want to get the look of something, which one should they be looking for? Okay, it's tough to answer because all of the SARMs were designed to be very anabolic and, and not very androgenic. They were all designed to be what Primabolin is. And so they're all pretty close to Primabolin. You could pretty much go with any SARM and get similar to Primabolin effects. But within those SARMs, some are a little bit better for bulking, some are a little bit better for shredding, some are a little bit better for strength, some are a little bit better as a nootropic. Um, I'd say the... The RAD 140 and the S23 seem to be even more aggressive than a Prima and probably much stronger than a Prima Bolin. Uh, can you compare dosages like this dose of Primo compared to this dose of that, if you don't mind? Because listen, a lot of people don't understand, Tony, you don't really have a motive. People think you had a, like everybody thought you had a motive before. Okay, but you don't even have a motive now. So if you're talking about how good these things are, you're not making any money off this. This is just because you want to educate people. So I want to make it clear that, you know, if you talk about this stuff, it's not like we're going to be putting a link to where you can buy this shit. It's, that's not the case. This is, just, this is just Tony telling you guys the truth. That's what it is. Yeah, that's a good point. I have no motive other than no motive. exactly the truth and a whole lot of nothing but the truth. Um, so let's take, let's just take ligandrol because I've been experimenting a lot with ligandrol lately. I'd say that, uh, uh, like 25 milligrams of ligandrol per day would be more effective at building muscle and keep you just as dry as, uh, 750 milligrams of premolin per week. Wow. So if you did the math on that, uh, what's the three, 35 times seven, <laughs> It's a, it's a lot less, a lot lower dosage. You know, one third of the dosage of a SARM side effect. would be more effective of three times of, of the dosage of the SARM. As, as, and and as the side effects? Steroids. Compare, compare yeah. the side effects? Say, same. Neither Primable and almost never has side effects. SARMs almost never have side effects. Of course, you always have to give the disclaimer that someone could have a side effect. But obviously, anything anabolic is going to uh, impact uh, cholesterol yeah. and suppress and natural testosterone. Yeah. But other than that, uh, most people have zero side effects on farms and most people have zero side effects on premium. And by the way, as far as the, the steroid and cholesterol issues, guys, you don't have to sub subject yourself to that. It's a dietary thing. You, you can simply eat yourself out of that side effect. You don't have to, sugar is the main culprit of it. Uh, you know, every now and then if you're, if you're bloated, you, you may want to fast. You don't have to force yourself into getting negative side effects. I mean, that's just, Plain and simple. Yeah, and lab work. You can get lab work done lab work. And, and see if you're not having a side effect, then why do you need to come off? Like me, I, I'm, not, I'm not having, other than my cholesterol being bad I'm, and, and I get my blood drained. Right. Other than that, I'm not really having steroid side effects, harm side effects, so why am I going to come off? Yeah. I, and you, I have so many benefits from it. You've been, you've been using, candidly speaking, all, in all honesty, right, it's, I, before I bet you, but you've been using for how many years now? It's been six years now, so I started when I was 30. I'm 36 now. Uh, of course, I, you know, looking at my physique, I have, I have, you know, one of the best physiques in any city I'm in at any given time, right? So it is, it is a spectacular physique, but it's not an IFBB pro physique. But then again, those guys can't maintain that, whereas I can maintain this I, it every was gonna, day of the year. You know, you, you look really good every time i see you on video yeah you look and healthy you don't very look healthy like you're about to do a show but you look really right. good yeah, about a month but out here's of here's the thing i use it's important for people to understand this i use the chemistry as a crutch and i openly admit it i don't train hard in the gym yeah. i don't diet i don't do a lot of the things that bodybuilders do that takes a lot of time and energy i use the chemistry to do it which is pretty awesome to be able to have this physique using the chemistry with almost no side effects. Uh, but if I did, if I did diet correctly, using the chemistry knowledge and the chemistry that I do use, if I did diet correctly and I rested correctly 
and I ate uh, and I trained correctly, you could I, would win like, I, <laughs> I would, I would be in the IFBB pro circuit. You could win. I would, I could see it now that if I got my hands on you for a solid year, but I mean, it's just such a, a constricting lifestyle and it, you know, there's so much more life than that, but you know what? It's great. It's really great to be able to look like you do be healthy. I also want to say the same thing. It's just, it's not as visible on my physique as it is yours because I, I started from being so skinny, but you know, I, I also feel the same way. I can't make it to the gym all the time. I can't eat the right way all the time. I use chemistry to make myself look good and I do it in a healthy way. One of the things, Tony, I really loved about this conversation was when you said in, in the future that you'll have a licensed lobotomist come take your blood, by the way. I'm a very hard stick, okay? Uh, we could maybe contribute this to my years of using Newbane when I was younger. Regardless of the situation, I was never a very vascular person. However, uh, that's the big issue with me is getting my blood drawn is, is having someone good enough to actually get a good draw. So if you're gonna provide that type of a service, I think that's incredible. I think it's exactly cutting edge. It's, it's what you know, you're all about and it's what, it's what this industry needs right now. There's absolutely no people to be getting sick. It just, it's I have to, I have to tell you a funny story real quick about the blood oh. drawing because you said it's hard to draw your blood. Oh, uh, first of all, um, taking aspirin helps helps the blood flow faster. So when they do hit it, it'll come out really quick, so they don't accidentally miss it. And of course, you know, pumping the arm, drinking, taking a lot of sodium, so your veins pop a little bit more. Those might help a little bit. But uh, baby mama was here. She has her medical license now, and she was drawing our blood to send into the lab, and she was sticking my brother with a needle and she stuck him like four times Ooh, yeah. because he's got really small veins too. He doesn't lift they that roll. much. And, they probably roll. <laughs> and it was brutal to watch. Oh my God. It's so brutal. when you have to stick someone four times behind the vein. So I feel for you. That's a, that's a, disgusting. <laughs> I'll tell you what though, man, I'm, you know, it's, it's, it's been a while and I'm, I'm, I'm due for a trip out there again. So Whenever you're, whenever you guys are ready to have me out there again, I would, I would love to come check out the facility, get my blood drawn and all that. You know, I mean, it, I'm, I'm a little bit of a different, obviously I'm older than you. I, I kind of cater to a, a, a different market, but um, you know, I, I believe in, in looking as young as I can and, and, and staying as healthy and as built as I can. I'm 45, I'll be 46 this year. And um, you know, I mean, I've never had Botox. I, you know, hey, <laughs> I can't complain. This is my real hair. You know, I'm, I feel blessed. And I've done cycles off and on. I, the first time I took steroids, I was 15 years old. And, uh, and to be honest with everybody, it was that injection of testosterone that allowed me to actually go through puberty. I was that late. As a, as, and I was, I was delayed in puberty because of bodybuilding. I was bodybuilding, which was suppressing my natural testosterone, at, you know, and I was doing this to try to get bigger, but I was delaying my puberty more and more and more. So it wasn't until I actually had a, 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 a dose of testosterone that made a difference that I actually went through puberty. So, you know, in, in, in retrospect, that, that, that may be a reason why I don't have an issue with it, but it's also I go off and on. And, and things like this right here, these, these products that you could use, you know, while you're not on, I mean, that's, that's kind of the key to keeping your body healthy and also getting your blood tested. Um, do you want to add it? Oh, Tony, let's add one more thing to this. Um, we both have experimented with Kratom separately. We've never, we've never used it together. We've never even really talked about it together. You found out about it on your own. I found out about it on my own. I'm going to ask you something. If you want to answer this, you can. You don't have to. But uh, you've tried a lot of different drugs. Have you ever tried Nubane? No. Okay, don't. <laughs> just I'm, from, a, from an older man it, giving you advice, there's, just don't try it, okay? However, Kratom is very much like a herbal newbie. So for people out there that want to get a little bit of an extra edge, they want to train harder, they want to the work out, they don't want to be so tired towards the end of the workout, they don't want to be so sore, they want to be able to do more sets, got to be honest with you, this Kratom stuff is the real deal. It really is. And I've taken Nubane and, you know, I've, I've had to take painkillers for my neck surgery and so forth. And I, I got to be honest with you, this is, this is very much like Nubane. Nubane is in a very specific class of drugs. 
It's an agonist antagonist, meaning that it has opiate properties, but it does not suppress the respiratory system like your traditional opiates. Kratom is the same thing. Kratom binds to opiate receptors, meaning it's an opiate, okay? But it does not suppress the respiratory system, making it ideal to use as a pre-workout so that you could actually go through the pain a little bit longer. So, you know, I don't know if enhanced, if enhanced athletes are going to be coming out with it soon. I hope you do. Uh, I'm probably going to be selling some of it on my site because I've got a great hookup uh, getting the kilos for a good price, as I've told you before. And I think it's, I think it's definitely one of the futures in uh, getting more out of your workout. I mean, we got pre-workouts, we got inner workouts, we got stimulants, we got many different types of things that can help you train harder. However, enduring the pain and lasting longer are some of the things, I mean, and I don't mean from sugar, from energy. I mean, the, the actual ability to train more sets and go harder as if you were on a narcotic. That's what Kratom does. And I'm really surprised that more people aren't talking about it. Since I'm talking about it, I want to, and we've never talked about it together like this, only through text messages and stuff. But please, man, you've had a lot of experience with this. I know you've done a lot of videos on it. But why don't you give me your take on it, and, and please tell me how well it works for you training-wise. Okay, yeah, I will. And then actually I, I have follow-up questions for you on it, but I'm going to ask you after I, uh, after I eat and get my blood sugar back up. But um, <laughs> I – some of the best, some of the most pleasurable workouts I've ever had were on Kratom. Uh, because for me, I use it to feel euphoric. I don't have any pain, any chronic pain. I mean, my knees hurt, but that's not chronic. Um, so most people think of it as a painkiller. I think of it as a, a, for euphoria, as an anti-anxiety, as a feel good. Oh, yeah. And if I take it by itself, it has a little bit of a sedative effect for me, but if I take it with a little bit of caffeine, like pre-workout, I have a cup of coffee with the Kratom. It's the perfect balance to, to give me a little boost of energy, but especially make me just happy and excited to work out. And when I feel the pain in the gym, instead of being like, ooh, I don't like pain, you it's like, hurt. ooh, yeah. this feels good. Yeah. I want to do this more. I want to work out harder. And it doesn't, the, the workout doesn't seem to tax me mentally as much. Like I didn't realize that a workout as you're going through it is kind of chipping away at sort of your adrenal fatigue and your central nervous system and, and, and your, your mind, the amount of mental energy you have. And I seem to have a lot more mental energy for longer in the gym when I'm on the Kratom. And then after the gym, it's really nice because then I feel uh, very relaxed. I feel like I'm more anabolic. I feel like I can grow easier. Like maybe it's even reducing cortisol, which is another. I think it does. I absolutely think it does. And by the way, that's an interesting thing you said that, and I, I, I don't have conclusive proof for this, but there is, there's been a lot of studies that have been shown that opiates are actually lower cortisol. They're actually anti-catabolic. Now, in, in, I'm not telling everybody to go get strung out on opiates, but what I'm trying to say is, is that, and I'm going to use it as the basic analogy as you ever can, okay? If somebody were to stop eating for three days, they'd probably die before someone who stopped eating and took heroin for three days. People can use opiates and not eat food and seem to last longer and longer and longer. So with Kratom, because it binds to those same receptors, it allows you to literally go longer and longer and longer, but it doesn't have the counterpart of opiates, which suppresses the respiratory system, which would make your workout counterproductive. So in a lot of ways, you know, Kratom is probably the best natural additive you could do to get more out of your workout. Uh, I have tried it with coffee. It's, it's extremely stimulating for me because I'm very sensitive to coffee, but I totally see that. Have you ever added THC or CBD to that, co to that co cocktail? <laughs> uh, probably, but I don't remember. I'm thinking. Um... E yeah so i think there was some times in the philippines when i was on all three and the the thing is for me every time i take any thc whether it's sativa indica hybrid whatever um oral or uh, vape i get really lazy mentally and physically 
not good for me for the gym. I understand the mind muscle connection for sure. Definitely improves my sort of my concentration and focus, but it also makes me just want to like lay down and not work out. <laughs> yeah, no, and you know, it's 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 funny because I I I think I can state that I am the first person to introduce you to THC. Would that be correct? Yeah, actually, I want to do that as a separate video though too, because that um, because then I had some follow up questions about that. So I want to talk. To, I want to do a separate video with you okay. after I my brain's working better and I have my blood glucose up with the, uh, the kratom and then also the cannabis. This was this was good for today. I I really appreciate your time. I'm sure. The audience is going to really appreciate this. I'm going to break this up into a couple different videos and um, go ahead and get something to eat and, and, and shoot me a call and let's figure out when we could do the next one because, hey man, the, the fact is, is that this has been long overdue. We, everybody knows me from Enhanced Athlete and I'll always, I'll always endorse the company, period, because I love you, man. You're a good dude. And, you know, we, we, we should have kept doing videos, but there was a little bit of time where you were worried because, you know, YouTube kept censoring you and stuff like that. But I think now we, we should go ahead and start joining forces again. And there's a, there's a lot. There's a lot going on this year, and we, we need to educate people and have people healthy. And like you said, you know, we got to live life through science and get a better edge. And you say it better than anybody. Go ahead and say it. <laughs> be swell and swole friends of freedom pioneers of human evolution and there's your upper check shell i love it peace <laughs> until next time guys thank you very much